Good morning from Cape Town. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to speak this morning at a memorial for Dr. Jimmy Crompton, a friend, part of our spiritual family, who brought great insight into our lives. The other day when I received the message that he'd gone home to be with the Lord, it came as a, a great shock to me. I'd been preparing to go and, and minister that morning and I, I walked out and I sat down on the patio and I began to pray for, it, for the family. And as I was praying, the Lord showed me him walking down the streets of Port Elizabeth with a, a wheelbarrow with all his possessions. And then I had a spiritual insight that said to me, now he's walking in glory. No more wheelbarrow, no more possessions, but walking down the streets of glory to be able to go meet with the King of glory. Look around you and see the people that have been impacted and affected by this ministry. Pastor Jimmy, Pastor Marianne, the leadership, Pastor Richard, all part of this. I want to see a transfer of that power of the anointing of the Holy Ghost for a double anointing to come upon Pastor Mariana and to Pastor Richard and everyone who's affiliated to the leadership of that church. I want to see the campuses grow and I want to see the word of faith become a household name throughout this nation. For this is your time. This is our moment, saith the Lord. For I'm about to do that new thing that I've promised you. And so get ready. Get ready. Don't sit back. Don't stand around. And be overjoyed this morning. For you see, he left a legacy. And he's built the foundations at this church. So get ready for what God's going to do. And we're going to see a wonderful time of revival that's going to break forth. In Jesus' name, amen.